What's going on, guys? Today we're going to learn Don't Look Back in Anger by Oasis. This one's got a really cool F sus 2 chord that we don't hear very often, so it's really nice to play with this one. So let's get into this video. If you're brand new to guitar, please start with my free beginner crash course right here. Everyone else, after this video, make sure to check out my top 10 steps to mastering the guitar free training in the description below this video. And with that being said, let's get into the song. All right, so starting out with the intro, here's what we've got. So not too complicated, we're starting on a C and we're going to use the strumming pattern that we're going to play for this entire song. So a C and our strumming pattern is going to be down, 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 up. One thing you can do to make this a little bit more like the actual song is on that first and third down strum, you can play it a little heavier to emphasize that beat and accent it. So I'll exaggerate this for you a little bit so you can hear what I mean. That first and third strum, you want to play it a little bit louder. Not as much as I did there, but you kind of get the idea and get the feel for it. Play that twice on the C, and then we're going to switch to this F sus 2, which is almost exactly like a C, just instead of the second finger on the fourth string, we're going to put our pinky on the third fret of that fourth string and take that off. So there's our F sus 2 and there's our C. These fingers can stay in their exact same position. It's a really easy switch. So we're going to play that strumming pattern twice on the C and then twice on the F sus 2. And there you go, that's it for the intro. Then moving on to the part played in the verse and the chorus. There are a bunch of different chords in this one, so it's gonna be easiest if you follow along with the lyrics and chords in the description below this video. That's gonna make it easier to get a sense of where everything is and kind of figure it out. And you can just follow along with that as I'm explaining it to you right now. So we're gonna start and we're gonna play our same strumming pattern throughout each chord. That's it. And our first chords are gonna be C then C slash B, then A minor, then E. So there's the first half of that verse, then moving on to the second half, we've got our F sus 2, a G, a C, and then we've got an A minor, which is played for half of that last bar, and G, which is going to be played for the other half of that last bar. So what this actually sounds like is this. So you can hear that those first three chords were played for one full repetition of the strumming pattern, and then those last two were only played for half. So. One, two, three, four, and. One, two, three, four, and. So that's the only thing to watch out for on this verse and chorus section is that half bar switch right there at the end. But with that being said, here's the full section. There's the full section for you. Played once more for you a little slower so you can follow along. And there you go, there's that full section. So now moving right along, we're making good progress here to the last section of this song, which is the pre-chorus. So this one is another one of those doozy songs where there's just a ton of different chords. Uh, it's going to be a little bit tricky to figure this out, but I'll break it down for you to help you memorize it. The strumming pattern, like in a lot of these songs with a lot of chords, is simple and easy. 
but the toughest part is just going to be memorizing all the chords. So once again, follow along with the lyrics and chords in the description. That's going to make it a lot easier to make sense of everything and figure out where it is in the song. Okay, so this one's a bit of a doozy, but let's just work through it piece by piece. So we're going to break this into four chord chunks. So our first block of chords is going to be F, F minor, and C. So you're going to play F and F minor once on the strumming pattern, and then C twice. So that together is... So you're going to play that block of chords three times in a row before moving on. So you're going to play that three times, then the next block is going to be G for two bars, and then E for two bars. That's it for that. You're just going to play that once. Then moving on, we've got A minor, G, F sus 2. You're going to play the A minor and the G for one bar each, and then the F sus 2 for two bars. And then to finish off this pre-course, I know there's a lot to take in here, but I'll play it all for you in a second. But you're going to finish this off with four bars on just a G. So that is a bit confusing. Again, follow along with the chords and lyrics in the description and just play it a bunch of times. I'm just breaking it into chunks to kind of memorize it a little bit easier. But now I'm going to play you the full pre-course. It'll take you a bunch of tries to memorize this. Don't worry. It takes me a while to memorize something like this too. But if you just practice it and work on it and follow along with the song, you'll get it down eventually. There you go, there's the full pre-chorus. So that is a lot to take in, but that's gonna be the trickiest part of the song is memorizing that section. The strumming isn't difficult, and there's only three little sections in this song. So if you can get that down and kind of sort that out in your brain, then you should be able to get the song relatively easily. Again, just memorizing the pre-chorus is gonna be the trickiest part of getting this down. And there you go, if you can play those parts, you can play this whole song. Please hit that thumbs up button and say hi in the comments below. Make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell if you haven't already so you don't miss any of my newest uploads and you learn guitar a lot faster. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.